Wow. Yeah. Thanks it, for... it, it gets you when you know that's the last time coming through there. Yeah, I know. I've been uh, every other day. I'm emotional. So today I'm okay. Good. Uh, yesterday it was not okay. It just it's you know because we have like 30 shows left, so mm -hmm. it's really counting down. And uh, yeah, it's it's weird. There's an ending. It's happening. Yeah. But and, and that saying, you don't be sad that it's over. Be glad that it happened. I like yeah. it. Yeah. I like that's it. Where to look at? Yeah. I feel that. I feel that. Yeah, good. Um, and thank you for, you You know, you get up early and you, you work every single day on the East Coast and you come out here and do the show and I appreciate it so very, very much. Thank you for being here throughout the years. Oh. Always. My pleasure, Ellen. You know, normally when I come out here, it's because of the Oscars or I have something that's going on. This time, it's just to say thank you. It's just to say thank you for the joy. Thank you. The laughter, the tears, all of it, all of these years. Thank you. That means so much to me. And then to, to change time zones. I mean, how... It's worth it. It's, well, well, thank you. You're and so you're flying back today? Uh, red eye. Red eye back. Uh, but are you, can you sleep on planes? Oh, I can sleep before we get off the tarmac. I mean, I'm like... <laughs> really? But, well, I get up at 3.30 in the morning. So when you're on a show like Good Morning America, you, you sleep where you can, so... God. Well, I, uh, it's, well, a, again, You're thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Um, I learned today for the first time, after all these years of knowing you, yeah. that you were a bus driver at, at some point in your life. A school bus driver. A school bus. Like the short bus or the long no, bus? No, no, the big mama. The big mama. Yes. Uh, and I was in high school at the time. That seems safe. <laughs> well, see, because I turned, see, see what happened was, uh -huh. uh, because I was turning 18 when I was a senior, and I was on the tennis team. And our coach told us if we didn't have a bus driver, we might have to forfeit the season. So that summer, I went through all the courses and took the classes and everything. But I also was a substitute driver. Can you imagine pulling up and you open the door and your classmate sees you behind the wheel of a school bus? No. And they say, you know what, I'll walk. I'll walk yeah. to school. Yeah. But then I would sometimes have to take the car, the, the, car, the, the, the bus home. And we lived in a little residential area, and it was too big for the driveway, so I'd park in the front lawn. And the neighbors really got a kick out of that, Ellen, <laughs> seeing the school bus. They the loved lawn. having yeah, that? Yeah, they loved that. It's like putting a sofa on the porch or something, yeah. Same thing. Or a washer and dryer. Wait, so, so you, uh, yeah. like, giant like that. And, had, and, it was, and it was on the floor, too. I mean, you had to shift and everything. Oh, it was, was old school, because it, it was 19, <laughs> you know, 19, <laughs> you know, you know <laughs> 79, 1979, so. Going, wow. hey, 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 yeah, black don't crack, so you know, that's fine. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you look fantastic. Thank you look you. fantastic. And uh, I just want to take a moment to say I know that Amber um, was diagnosed with breast cancer, and uh, y'all have been together for 17 years. I can't imagine how hard it is to, for someone that you love to, to because it's, it's almost harder on you because you want to do something. I haven't talked about it much, but with you I will. She's doing well, which is great. And just what you said, I went through it twice, barely shed a tear. I'm a puddle every time I think about what Amber's going through, but she is being so courageous and is handling it uh, extremely well. And I'm able to kind of give her a little bit of a roadmap because I've gone through it. But she's also given me a roadmap on how to be a caregiver. And I didn't realize how much I had blocked out during my journey and it was because of Sweet Amber, because she protected me and she navigated for me. So I'm doing the same thing for her. But um, the message here, and you know my mama, make your mess your message. And like many people, she had put off going to the doctor during the pandemic. And then the end of last year, she followed through with a regular exam and it was discovered. And so the message is, get those regular exams. It can save your life. And thankfully the prognosis is good for her. Oh, good, yeah. good. Yeah, I heard that. Yeah. That's great to hear. Whew. Thank you. And it's because they caught it early, too. They At least they got it in time, it which helps. is it's it so really important. Helps. Um, and, uh, you know, talking about, I, I've been doing this for, for 19 years. We started 20 years ago, and you have been on GMA for 20 years. I can't believe that you've been on for 20 years. Oh, why can't you believe that? Because I mean, it I, doesn't I, seem like that long, <laughs> no, does I'm it? I'm just kidding. I know it doesn't seem that way for me as well. I mean, yeah. it wasn't on my whiteboard uh, when I was driving a school bus that I wanted yeah. to be on Good Morning America <laughs> right. for 20 years. But what a privilege, and you know this, to, for, for folks to uh, invite you into their homes, invite you into their lives. And yeah. I tell you what, I am still excited each and every time I say, Good Morning America, love it, yeah. love it.
Well, that's good. That's because if you're getting up at 3.30 in the morning, you better be happy to do that. Exactly. And you go to bed at, like, what time? Uh, 8.39, but I'm, I have made it a priority to get my rest, and it makes yeah. a big difference. Very, very important. Mm -hmm. um, you're in great shape. You, you work out, and, you know, Michael Strahan was <laughs> here, and he inspired us because he does push-ups every single day, so we started doing push-ups. Does he do that around the set for you? We're, we're, oh, my gosh. Yeah, we're all, yeah. Hey, Andy, right now, give me. I'm, I want you to Andy help. doesn't do it. No, he doesn't? Do it. No, Andy doesn't, but all of the, uh, the whole crew does, and uh, the writers do, and Twitch and I do it, but, but Andy doesn't no, do it. He doesn't do it. No. But Michael has us doing that as well. I want to I wanna get on his back one time and see how he can do the push-ups with me on his back. I'm sure he could do that. I'm sure he could. Yeah. Well, you should do that and post it. <laughs> I'll do that. Yeah. And I'll mm -hmm. say that you said it. Oh, okay. And, and, I, and then you post that I said that you should do it, and you do it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're going to take a break. More with Robin after this. So Robin Roberts has written a book, Brighter by the Day, which is a very inspirational book. Uh, what made you decide to write this? Oh, the times that we're living in right now. There's so much uncertainty, which means to me that there are endless possibilities. And before the pandemic, I, on a semi-regular basis, would do a little morning message and prayer in my dressing room. And then during the pandemic, went home. Amber was in the kitchen, little man Lucas, and we did a daily affirmation. And people really responded. And they were concerned when I went back to work that I was not going to do it any longer. And then they reached out and said, can you put it in written form? They loved the videos and everything, but they wanted something in written form. And it's just the mantras, little things that have helped me through my journeys and challenges and that, and just hoping to enlighten people and just let them know that uh, they're not alone, that we're all going through Everybody's got something. That's beautiful. And everybody does got something. Yeah, everybody's got everybody something. Everybody has something that... Um, I have to ask you about... Uh, there was an interview with Obama that you were going to do in 2012 um, that, that I learned today that you almost turned down. You yes, almost didn't interview the president because... In 2012, I got a call to go to the White House and that there was a possibility that then-President Barack Obama would change his stance on marriage equality. I had not been public yet about being gay. And I was afraid that I might be outed. That people might wonder, why is she the one interviewing the president when he's making this, this uh, change in his stance? And then it was kind of like a scene out of Moonstruck. Slap, you know, snap out of it. You know, like, Robin, what are you thinking? I mean, you're gonna, you're, you're, it's not about you. This man is going to impact countless lives. And it was at that moment that I said, I'm gonna stop letting fear keep me from the things that I want to do. When I started looking at the times, <laughs> being fearful, and you can't keep it from your destiny. And so um, I'm so grateful that I, I did that. And shortly thereafter is when I, on Instagram or on social media, talked about Amber, and all that fear I had of like, you know, being a Christian, that people would look at me differently, I was embraced. And it just, it, it, again, we just stop and think about how many times we let fear keep us on the sidelines. And I'm so, so very glad um, that, bless you. Bless you. Bless you. Um, that that's no longer the case. I mean, there's a, I'm, not gonna, I'm not gonna get everything that I want in life and I'm not gonna accomplish everything, but by golly, fear's not gonna be the reason why I'm not. Yeah, I mean, it, it, yeah. There's just, there's just no reason to not be authentically who you were born to be because it is do, doing a disservice to whatever you believe in. If you believe in God or the universe or however you want to put it, this is, there's only one of you in all of time. So be all of who you are. Yes. That, yeah. We, everybody is a limited edition. That's how I look at it. Yeah. You, are, you are a limited edition. And it's so true. And I gotta tell you, I mean, how many times, and people know this, you gravitate toward people who you know are being their true, authentic self. Yeah. And it's just something that more and more people are starting to embrace, and I'm grateful for that. Yeah, it's fantastic. Well, Robin, I love you, and I thank you for being here again. Brighter by the Day, Waking Up to New Hopes uh, and Dreams is available everywhere books are sold. We'll be back.